Hi, my name is Rose, and today I'm excited to present to you some work that I've done in collaboration with Google Research on model-based reinforcement learning for decentralized multi-agent rendezvous. Our work is inspired by the following scenario. Imagine you and your friend find yourselves at the ends of a busy crosswalk and you plan to meet up. What do you do in order to officially meet? You attempt to weave around the groups of people by turning right, but you see your friend heading in the opposite direction. Without any sort of communication, you understand that both of you imagine different locations to meet, and so you reroute your plan in order to meet them more quickly. This is an example of the rendezvous task, which our paper primarily focuses on. These types of co collaboration problems require agents to align their goals on the fly. And so the core of our paper really focuses on, on how to enable our agents to predict the intentions of others and actively update their own plans in the real world. There are three key challenges in these types of problem settings. One is how should agents coordinate using high dimensional imperfect sensor inputs? Two is how should agents cooperate with others under partial observability and uncertainty? And lastly, three, how should agents resolve miscoordinations? We address these challenges using holistic learning-based approach called Hierarchical Predictive Planner, HPP, and it consists of three main modules, a control, prediction, and planning module. Concretely, what our method looks like is the following. Each agent independently has its own high-level motion prediction model and low-level policy. Our high-level policy is our planning module, where it selects and evaluates goals um, that maximize for a team objective. The way that it does this is that it utilizes self-supervised learned uh, motion prediction models that uh, simulates the trajectories of agents conditioned on sampled goals. Outputting then what it thinks to be the best goal denoted here as GI, the low-level policy then navigates to this location using the agent's own observations. Starting from the bottom up, the low-level policy, in other words, our control module, navigates the selected goal by using the robot's LIDAR observations as well as the relative goal position in order to then output linear and angular velocity commands to the agent. Our motion prediction modules uh, evaluate future trajectories of agents. These are learned via self-supervision in a completely different set of environments used in evaluation. And finally, putting everything together, HPP, our planning module, updates a belief distribution over rendezvous points using exactly these prediction modules. The prediction modules are used in order to evaluate trajectories of agents conditioned on sampled goals, which are then sorted and then used to be updated um, for our belief distribution parameters via the cross entropy method. Our experimental setup looks like the following. We compare against MADDPG, which is a learning-based algorithm, RRT, a planning-based algorithm with the CEM, as well as centralized baselines, which apply heuristics in order to determine which goal uh, all agents should navigate to. This contrasts our decentralized method where each agent selects goals by themselves independently. And the types of settings that we evaluate uh, the baselines as well as our method on um, combine both real world settings as well as those in, done in simulation. Some of the takeaways from our work is that HPP enables agents to predict and align trajectories while avoiding miscoordinations, as you can see in this video here, whereas other methods such as the centralized heuristics um, don't really enable agents to um, predict future trajectories of agents and other uh, baselines such as RIT are just quite inefficient for complex uh, environments um, in order to enable agents to rendezvous. Uh, another takeaway from our work is that our method directly transfers into the real world without any additional training or fine tuning, as you can see here where agents um, also meet up, um, whereas MADDPG really struggles to um, do this in these types of real world complex settings. Thank you for listening.